Hi, Frank Spangler here for Learning Media Skills, and in today's lesson on EDIUS Pro, we're going to take a look at how to letterbox your video. You've probably seen this uh, by masking out the top and bottom portions of your regular HD video. You can give it more of a cinematic feel, a cinematic look. And in today's lesson, we're going to show you how to do that in EDIUS. Now, there are several different ways that you could do this. I'm just going to use the mask tool of EDIUS. Let's go over here where I've placed a, a regular video clip. Now you might see that there is a, a slight, what looks like a mask or letterbox already on this clip, but actually it's a true 4K clip coming from my Canon 5D Mark IV. And because true 4K video uses a little bit different aspect ratio than regular HD video, it looks like it's got uh, a, a little bit of letterboxing going on here, but uh, actually it's just uh, native that way. Now what we want to do is uh, place a mask on top of this, and so navigate to your effects palette, and under video filters, look for the option called mask, and let's just drag and drop that right onto our clip. And you'll see that showing up over in your information palette, just double click on that, and let's bring our view down to about 25% so we can see what we're doing a little better. And let's go up and grab the mask tool and then just draw a mask. It doesn't have to be exact at this point, just something like that. Let's go over to the right hand panel here and let's make the outside opacity to be zero. And we'll see what's happening over here already in our record window that section outside of our mask is now black. And to help us line this up perfectly, let's go over to our view option here and select overlay and let's choose safe area. And that brings up a little guideline uh, which is kind of broadcast safe area here and we can use that kind of as a guideline. Let's go back now to our mask and it just looks like we need to make it just a little smaller See what you can do about getting that filled up. Something like that. Bring it down just a little bit. And that's pretty much even at the top and bottom. And we have created our mask. Let's hit OK. But let's make a preset of that so that we don't have to draw this mask for every clip. Let's right click on that mask and uh, save as a current user preset and let's call it something like uh, movie mask. All right, and so now any clip that we want to have that same kind of cinematic look to it, we can just drop that on. So look for that preset that we created and then just drag and drop it onto your clip. You don't have to do it one by one. If you had a whole series of clips here like we have over here, you can select the entire timeline and just drag and drop your preset onto any one of the clips and that will apply it to all of the clips in one sweep. You don't have to do it one by one. Let's go back to our clip here with the interview. If you're not quite happy with the position of the portion of the video that's showing, we can just go into our Layouter tool. You can go over to Information Palette and double click on Layouter or use the keyboard shortcut of F7. That opens up our Layouter tool and just by going to the image, dragging it up or down, you can reposition that. So if we wanted to see just a little bit more of his uh, head showing in our uh, clipped or cropped video with the letterbox, you can do it that way. All right. Now, some people will caution you about using this approach uh, to give the cinematic feel, and they have some good reasons for that. They will say that when you do it this way, the black portion of your video is going to actually be rendered as black, and so it's going to add to your total bit rate, and when it is then processed, say, on YouTube, and people watch it at a low resolution, it's going to show banding and uh, noise and that type of thing and that's that's a valid point but I kind of still like this approach 
Uh, we'll show you a different approach in our next tutorial where you can actually set an aspect ratio um, that is more cinematic and edit your video inside that frame rather than add the uh, letterboxing to your video. We'll show that to you next uh, time. But one of the reasons why I kind of like this approach is that I can now add uh, subtitles and uh, not have the subtitles showing up inside my video and be distracting from my beautiful video. And uh, so let me just turn on the subtitles to show you uh, what I'm talking about here. So now when the video plays, the subtitles that show up for the people that may not have the volume on on their Facebook feed or on their YouTube feed can still actually read the message of the video. It can really help the family and marriage to grow stronger. We gave it a try and found it to be true. So now, in addition to having kind of a more wide aspect ratio, a cinematic uh, feel to it, we have a nice space now for our subtitling. It also comes in handy if you're doing different languages of your video. You've got room here that's not going to interfere with the visual, the nice cinematic visual of your video. It's going to be in its own little section there. So there you go, how to uh, add letterboxing to your videos in Edius Pro. My name is Frank Spangler. This is Learning Media Skills. Give it a like if you found it helpful and subscribe if you haven't. And uh, we'll see you down the road.